let's look at some background on the history of how corporations and their employees operate within society and this notion of corporate responsibility. Most legal issues that arise that are associated with organizations, corporations, partnerships, and the like are arose because of choices that society made decided was unethical or irresponsible or otherwise unacceptable. Organizations would do certain things and eventually the society says that's going a little bit too far. However, all actions deemed unethical by society aren't necessarily illegal. This table shows both legal and, and, and ethical concerns and how they've changed over time. Sometimes things that were ethical become unethical. Sometimes things that were legal but not ethical become illegal and even sometimes the reverse. This, to this table shows some of the issues in the past and how society has concerns have how, how society's concerns have been addressed and how things have changed over time. This is from the Business Ethics Timeline from the Ethics Research Center Resource Center uh, from 2003. It was updated also in 2010. Let's look at the laws. The government steps in when it's necessary to pass laws and regulations that encourage businesses to conform to society's standards, values, and attitudes. As an example, the Sarbanes-Oxley Act was enacted after several accounting scandals at well-known firms had occurred in the early 2000s, and the public, it shook the public's confidence and action was taken. The act effectively criminalizes securities fraud and stiffened penalties for, corp for different kinds of corporate fraud. The Dodd-Frank Act was enacted after this most recent recession, 2008-2009, and was passed to reform the financial industry and offer consumers a level of protection against complex financial transactions and in particular against deceptive financial products. Many conflicts in business can be avoided if owners and managers and employees knew more about business law and the legal system. Business ethics, social responsibility, and the laws together act as a compliance system that requires that businesses and employees act responsible within society. Inside, regardless of what an individual believes about a particular action, if society judges it to be unethical or wrong, whether correctly or incorrectly, that judgment directly affects the organization's ability to achieve its business goals. Well-publicized incidents of unethical or illegal activity strengthen the public's perception that ethical standards and the level of trust in the business needs to be raised. It could be for particular businesses or it could affect other businesses as well. However, it's important to understand that business ethics goes beyond legal issues. Ethical conduct builds trust among individuals and in business relationships, which validates and promotes, promotes confidence in business relationships. Establishing trust and confidence is much more difficult in organizations that have reputations for acting unethicals, unethically. Some acts or conduct are readily identifiable as unethical or illegal such as some of the examples here, accounting fraud, deceptive advertising, cybercrime. Ethical issues are not limited to for-profit organizations. Ethical issues include all areas of organizational activities, including government. Learning to recognize and resolve ethical concerns, challenges, and issues is a key step in evaluating and enacting ethical decisions in business. Now we'll talk a little bit about recognizing ethical issues. When one sees behaviors and activities in organizations, or when one is presented with a situation where you need to take action, recognizing an ethical issue is the most important step in understanding business ethics and what one should do in a given situation. We define an ethical issue 
is an identifiable problem, situation, or opportunity that requires a person to choose among several actions that may be evaluated as right or wrong, ethical or unethical. In business, such a choice often involves weighing monetary profit for the organization or compensation for the individual that a per when a person considers what is the appropriate con conduct. The way to best judge the ethics of a decision is to look at the situation from the customer's or the competitor's viewpoint. In the next lecture, we'll look in detail at some very specific illicit acts and, discuss, and think about how these can be identified and what appropriate behavior might be in those situations.